Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. Coca-Cola, there's magic when we cheer together. And by Hardison and Cochran, dial 919 all fours for a free legal consultation. Hello again. Welcome to the latest edition of the Carolina Insider. Man, we have a busy show for you today covering a bunch of different Tar Heel topics. That includes men's basketball, of course. One and one week for the Heels on a two-game road trip. But that game against Virginia earlier in the week, Armando Baycott only plays a minute and 18 seconds before getting hurt. Pete Nance was unable to go. The Heels undermanned. They fought but fell short against a quality Virginia team. We will see some footage from that game. Tar Heels bounced back, though, and really had a dominant performance against Louisville. Was having a tough season. Carolina didn't let the Cardinals have much hope as they ran away and won by over 20. We'll have highlights of that victory coming up in just a minute. But more than just men's basketball today, we'll talk a little Tar Heel football as well. Mac Brown met with the media earlier this week to talk about incoming transfers, talk about the transfer portal, talk about NIL, just all the different things that are happening now that college football has moved into the off season. You'll hear from Coach Brown, plus some women's basketball as well. Highlights of some big wins for Courtney Banghart's team this week over Notre Dame and also on the road against Virginia. And you'll hear from one of the stars of Carolina's women's team, Eva Hodgson, as well. Busy show. We're going to start with highlights. Carolina and Louisville in the Yum Center on Saturday afternoon. Seth Trimble has already come off the Carolina bench as R.J. Davis pulls up for three in transition and strips it home. Ellis on the drive, got too deep and turned it over as he pitched it out to the perimeter. Intercepted by Love. He'll go the other way. Takes a ton of contact that he can't finish through, but then Baycott, trailing the play, gets the rebound and dunks it in. Drives right of the court to Davis. Down low to Baycott for another dunk. Bounces over in the left corner to Trimble. Drives, kicks, Davis open for three, in and out. There's DeMarco Dunn, though, for the offensive rebound and stick in to Ellis. Drives through the paint, comes up short on his jumper. R.J. Davis on the run, gets the rebound, bounce pass to Baycott in transition for the left-handed layup in the lead. In the post to Roosevelt Wheeler, falling out of bounds, and his pass tipped and intercepted. Dunn, tough bounce pass to Styles, who brought it in and then threw it home. Dunn. Now Davis, deep on the left wing. Well, it's going to turn into a mile long. Three counted, RJ. Yes, had a tough day shooting, just one of seven. Puff Johnson, can he get this three? Yes, from the left corner. Baycott now with 11 rebounds as Davis in traffic up high finds Johnson. He'll try another triple. Yes, sir. There's a lot of contact out in the middle of the floor. Davis just wouldn't let there be a handoff pass. It ends up being a steal and a rim rocker from Leaky Black as Carolina goes up 53-35. Love gets a screen from Washington, had space, didn't attack. Now he will on the drive. Pitches wide open, corner right done. Count it for three. Going to drive right down Broadway. Sends it in the corner to Black. Out to Dunn. Heels got to shoot it. Dunn will fire the three and knock it in from the top right. Well, that's a biggie. See if the Tar Heels set up in the zone. Now they're going to pick up in the man-to-man -man after Louisville had the transition opportunity, and they get a steal. Into the hands of Black. He'll pitch ahead to Dunn for the right-handed hammer. So Carolina comes to the Yum Center and after a sluggish start really lays the hammer down on the Cardinals that are continuing to have a really difficult season. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. We started, uh, we started to be more aggressive in the defensive end. We started getting stops without fouling. We started rebounding the basketball. That allowed us to get out in transition. We started running. We started not selling for outside jump shots. We started attacking the basket. We started to establish Armando. We started to move the ball, find the open man without hesitation. The ball didn't stick. It was either shot, passed, or driven. And, and our bench was great. You know, guys that came off the bench just gave us a spark. DeMarco, Dantres. Jalen, all those guys came off the bench and were really big for us. But the thing that I'm happy about is, is how we responded. 
we didn't start the way that we wanted to, but for the rest of the game, I thought we played really well. And I'm really, really proud of them. It's very difficult to win on the road, and it's very difficult to win on the road in the ACC. And Louisville is a very good and talented basketball team. And their record doesn't show that, but extremely well coached. And they're a very talented team that can beat anybody on any given night. So after that win over Louisville, the Tar Heels improved to 12 and six on the season, back above 500 in ACC play at four and three. Their week started this two game road trip week in Charlottesville. Man, the Tar Heels have had trouble there recently, have not won in John Paul Jones Arena since 2012. Felt like this was a year Carolina had a good chance to do it, but minute and 18 seconds into the game, Armando Baycott goes down. Not that Carolina couldn't have won the game, but you lose your ACC Player of the Year favorite. That's going to hurt. Tariels fought hard but came up short. Let's see some of the footage. And the lack of success on the offensive end, but just 5 nothing. R.J. Davis, clean look at three, and he knocks it in to try and get position. Right now, Love has it on the perimeter. Drives in, fakes the pass to Washington, and hits the runner. Uh, either Jones or Adam, who's not on headset per se. Quick dump to Jalen Washington by Caleb Love. And he flushes it. Welcome to the game. To take a 14-13 lead. Davis trying to get a high screen from Washington. Pulls up for a tough shot. No good. Washington the rebound in the putback. High screen from Washington. Love backs up. Now attacks. Kicks it in the corner right to Dunn. His three-pointer. Good. He rattled it home. Chest pass right wing to Dunn. In the paint. It goes to Washington. Works around Cuffero for the bucket and foul. And that'll be number two. Love out on the perimeter, drives, pitches, left corner three for Leakey. Black is good. Trimble in trouble in a double team. Crosses the court to Nickel. Extra pass, down low to Washington for the bucket and the foul. Meanwhile, Virginia with the basketball. Shedrick down low and his outlet pass taken away by Leakey Black, which will turn into a runout finish for the Tar Heel veteran. For DeMarco Dunn off the bench, shot clock getting low. Davis, hesitation, drive, floater off the window, left side. What a tough one for Davis for two. You got no big guy in the post with Washington on the bench. Davis, boy, he's going to try a step back. Three, nothing but net. Baycott still in the locker room as R.J. Davis will try and answer the three, and he does from the right sideline. Caleb Love out of there with the loose ball. Leaves it for McCoy in the front court. Back to Love. That is a wide open three that he spins in. Left wing, Black hands off to Caleb Love. Boy, Tariels need some points. Love will try to give it to him with the triple, and he does it. Leaky Black's picked up his dribble. He needs help. Bounce pass right sideline to Caleb Love. Jab step, uses a left-handed dribble to get to the top of the key. A long three. Caleb Love did it again. And Carolina puts up a strong fight after losing Armando Baycott just one minute and 19 seconds into the game but just could not muster enough without their preseason ACC Player of the Year. There will 